Beneath the Wheel, originally titled Unterm Rad, by Hermann Hesse is a profound critique of the rigid and oppressive educational and societal systems that prioritize conformity and academic success over individual well-being and personal growth. The novel's protagonist, Hans Giebenrath, is a bright and diligent young boy who is pressured by his teachers, father, and the community to excel academically and win a scholarship to a prestigious seminary. Hesse masterfully portrays the intense and often destructive pressure placed on young minds to conform to societal expectations, ultimately leading to tragic consequences. Hans represents the quintessential victim of an inflexible educational system that values rote learning and academic achievement above all else. The novel begins with Hans being celebrated for his academic prowess, which comes at the cost of his mental and physical health. Hesse's detailed descriptions of Hans's experiences in the seminary highlight the joylessness and isolation that accompany his studies. The rigorous curriculum and the relentless demands placed upon Hans strip away his individuality and passion for learning, transforming education into a burdensome obligation rather than a journey of intellectual and personal exploration. Hesse contrasts Hans's plight with that of Hermann Heilner a rebellious and free-spirited student who becomes Hans's friend. Heilner's disdain for the oppressive educational environment and his pursuit of artistic and intellectual freedom present a stark juxtaposition to Hans's submissive acceptance of his fate. Through Heilner, Hesse introduces the idea that true education and personal development come from a balance of intellectual, emotional, and spiritual growth. Heilner's character serves as a foil to Hans, highlighting the detrimental effects of a one-dimensional approach to education and the importance of nurturing creativity and individuality. As Hans struggles to meet the ever-increasing expectations placed upon him, his mental and physical health deteriorate. The novel poignantly captures his descent into a state of deep despair and exhaustion. Hesse's exploration of Hans's inner turmoil and feelings of inadequacy underscores the damaging impact of an education system that fails to recognize and nurture the individual needs and talents of students. Hans's eventual breakdown and retreat from the seminary symbolized the ultimate failure of an education system that prioritizes success and conformity over the well-being and holistic development of its students. The Natural World represented by the rivers, forests, and mountains surrounding Hans's hometown, serves as a recurring motif in the novel. These elements symbolize freedom, solace, and the possibility of a life unburdened by societal expectations. Hesse's vivid descriptions of nature provide a stark contrast to the oppressive atmosphere of the seminary, offering Hans fleeting moments of peace and a glimpse of an alternative way of living. The novel's tragic conclusion, with Hans's untimely death, serves as a powerful indictment of the societal and educational pressures that stifle individuality and destroy young lives. Hesse's Beneath the Wheel is not merely a critique of the education system but a broader commentary on the societal values that prioritize material success and conformity over personal fulfillment and authentic living. The novel raises important questions about the true purpose of education and the ways in which societal expectations can shape, and often limit, individual potential. Hesse's portrayal of Hans Giebenrath's tragic fate invites readers to reflect on the importance of fostering environments that support the holistic development of individuals, allowing them to pursue their passions and develop their unique talents without succumbing to the oppressive weight of societal pressures. In Beneath the Wheel, Hesse eloquently captures the conflict between individuality and conformity, the struggle for personal freedom in the face of societal expectations, and the devastating consequences of an education system that fails to nurture the whole person. The novel remains a poignant and relevant exploration of these themes, resonating with readers who recognize the timeless and universal nature of the pressures that Hans faces. Through Hans's story, Hesse advocates for a more compassionate and individualized approach to education and life, 
one that values and nurtures the unique qualities of each person.